So when are you leaving for school? Tomorrow afternoon, ma'am. Tomorrow afternoon. But I thought you were going to spend a weekend with me. No. I think it's high time you transferred schools. I prefer you studying here in Abuja to Lagos. Mom, I love my school. Besides, the University of Lagos is very cool. I get to focus on my studies and avoid the Abuja distractions. Hmm. Okay, if that's what you want. But I need you to stay focused on your studies, okay? For goodness sake, you need to graduate very soon. You have spent six years in the university and I don't like it. Mom, it's five, not six. Ah, what's the difference? A five, five years for a four-year course. Anyway, you can go with a private jet when you are leaving. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> thank you, Mom. I love you more. Be good, okay? I will. I have to leave now. Thank you. You are so lucky, Tani. Your mom goes to everything you need. You're right, Alex. Tani has got good life. He drives good cars, he's got a good house, and even flies a family's private jet, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's my baby. Oh, yes, yeah. I think you're right. That's study for you. Guys, I deserve it and more. My parents are rich, and what's the best way to spend their money if not on me? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, I think you guys are right. Some of us will do everything to be in this position right now. Or what do you think? Mm -hmm. How? Unlike some of us, we have to do everything to put food on our table. Mm. Don't be like this, Alex. Don't, don't, don't. You are in school to make your life better. And I'm very sure by the time you graduate, everything will fall in place for you. So, don't. With which certificate? Poor grade. Somebody that is supposed to be learning how to sell samosa at Karampopo. Baby! <laughs> You are very stupid, Colleen. Calm down. <laughs> Guys, you know what? Just calm down, calm down, calm down. Alex, I'm sure it doesn't mean what you just said. Then in other news... Um... Okay, who is joining me for my boat cruise tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to join you big time. I trust you, you're my guide now. I trust you. Uh, half class tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm a party right now. I I'm know. You. I know. So baby, I'm going Party with Stan. Right with baby, you. I'm, I'm coming with you, right? Coming with who? Oh, baby. No, 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 no. Don't stop telling that now, please, now. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. that's so okay. okay, 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 thank you. <laughs> Hello, Professor Anna. Ah, I'm very fine, thank you. You mean my son doesn't attend classes? No, no, no. It's in Lagos. He met a a week ago. Thank you very much, sir, for this information. He would definitely hear from me. Doll. Is everything okay? I know, it's just my son. Ah, okay. I just um, called to check on you because I have not heard from you in a while. Sniff, sniff, and sniff. And all you do is drink, drink, and drink. 
bloody drunk. Hey, please, hold it there. Who the hell are you talking to? Why would you be talking to my guy that way? You is crackhead. Hey, please. Hey, hello. Please, don't call him crackhead. Why will you insult my baby? Please, at least my baby is more better than your baby. I mean intelligent than your baby. Please, don't insult him, okay? Katrina, what did you just say? You that you are known for sharing your body around this campus. We have not had a taste of you. Kelvin, what did you just say? Kelvin, what did you just say? Tell me. Kelvin, talk. Please, guys, I forgot about this. Please. Kelvin, be explicit. Hello, hello. Please, guys, please. You guys should stop all this, please. Baby. Please, calm down. Don't say anything again, please. This guy is, 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 is really um, on cheap drugs. That's why he's behaving like this. Baby, don't stress yourself over this matter. This guy is high. You don't take coke. Don't, don't forget. My baby. Are you, are, are, you, are you really mad at I don't understand. Baby, please, please. Please, please don't guys, don't worry about this. Please. Baby. Baby. Don't, don't just stress don't yourself. Know. Please, don't stress yourself over this issue. Please, don't be insulting. Baby. Let's not forget about this, please. Baby, don't stress yourself, right? Don't just, it, it doesn't know what to say, okay? Baby. Hello, Tade. Hello, Mom. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you? I'm in school. Are you sure? I have a class to attend now. So why didn't you let me call you after my class? Look, I don't want you to disappoint me this time again. I don't want your father to start complaining about your grades. Okay? Mommy, don't worry. You see, this semester, it's nothing but straight A's. I promise. All right, my love. You know what, let me call you after my class. Bye. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Kelvin, <laughs> how dare you insult me in the presence of Tade? That I sleep around. But that's what you do. Who the hell is that? Accuse me in the presence of my guy. So you won't start acting now. You are a demon. You won't start acting now like you're a false? demon. I just, I just just understand. Do you want to do you want to break the guys, relationship between me and daddy? Guys, guys, what is actually going on? What's the problem? She did this, she did that. Why can't you guys just behave like adults? What is going on? This guy is a demon. Demon? How? He's a demon. Biko. He's insane. Because Look at Port calling, calling care to black. I don't understand. If you repeat any statement, uh -huh. if you repeat uh -huh. those words, if you repeat those words, uh -huh. I will deal with you. It's okay. Hey! I will deal with you. Hey! I will kill you. I will deal with you. Beating, let's go. I will deal with you. Calm down. Me and you, it's me and you, Kelvin. I'm small. Stop shouting, Kelly, please. Bro, why are you doing this to our guy? Why? I've been there, I told you. I've After everything he has done for you, I've stopped you. The fool. 
clothing and the money. Have you heard it, Kelvin? No, 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 you're not supposed to do this at all. Please, you need to promise me you won't tell Tari, please. How am I going to believe you? You need to believe me, Kelvin. You need to cover my heart, please. Then you have to promise me you're not going to do it again. Yeah, I promise you, Kelvin. Guy, must you do this again? Must you? I haven't had a fix today. And so? By the way, I noticed you ostracized Katrina yesterday when you were teaching us the organic chemistry course yesterday. What's the problem? I don't have a problem with her. I just don't like her attitude. She's rude and she's arrogant. That's all. You guys should trash out whatever differences you have. I am tired of your Tom and Jerry antics in this house. Seriously. I'll fix that when I'm done with this. Katrina, shut up. This is my house. I decide who stays and who lives. Get out! Daddy, why are you doing this to me? Get the hell out of my house. Why are you doing Get this out. to me? Get out! The, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? What is going on here? Daddy, why are you doing this to me? Why are you embarrassing me? You bring this trap are you okay? into my house. Daddy, am I not beautiful? Am I not good enough? Daddy, this is an embarrassment. What the hell is this? Oh, God. Baby, I can't stand this dim wit insult me. In fact, her presence issues my skin. I'm leaving here right now and I want you to follow me so we can continue our fun. I'm waiting for you in the bedroom. Daddy, what have I done to you? What have I done to this Why? Oh, God. Like, Daddy. Oh no, this is an embarrassment, Daddy. What have I done to you to deserve this? Oh God! What are you going, God? Alex, just leave me. Let me. Let me. Let me just go. I'm tired of Taddy's games. Taddy insults me emotionally. I don't just know what to do. I'm just tired. What do you know you have no way to do? I'll just go to my cousin's place. I'm tired of Taddy. I'm tired. Hello, Tari. Hello. How are you? Alex, what's up? Where are you at the moment? Alex, I'm in school. We need to talk. It's about Katrina. She's moving out. Look, if Katrina wants to be better, I leave. 
I'm busy, I'm not down for all this rubbish. Whatever rocks your boat, better leave. Okay, okay. I should bring you to school in two hours' time. Guy, I'm telling you my mind. Eh? Me, Roscoe, I have a bone to pick with Tadi Power. I did tell you. Oh, Tumba. <laughs> Look, when you get back, immediately we are jetting out to Dubai for a much needed vacation. <laughs> See, I am extremely stressed. And I need a break. And also, I need a private time with my husband. Yes, I'm serious. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, okay. I miss you so much. All right, we'll talk later. Bye. <laughs> oh. Mommy. Yes. My bed is in two weeks. I know, and trust me to surprise you on that day. <laughs> Mom, I need like five million to celebrate my 30th birthday with my friends. Five million what? <laughs> You're joking. You can't be serious, boy. Ah, Tade, are you out of your senses, boy? you do is gallivant around town wasting my hard earned money. You are 24 going on 25 and you're yet to have a university degree. And all you can think about is to throw a party for those twins called your friend. How would your father react if he hears about this? Eh? Daddy? <laughs> I think you're serious. You're not serious. You are not serious. <laughs> Mm, you better wake up. Hello? It's my son. He's getting out of control day by day. I am tired of his tantrums. Even I told you, tell your husband everything. Don't hold anything back. Tell it all. He's not focused. He takes his academic with levity. I am so tired. I don't even know what to tell his father. He keeps saying that I'm the one spoiling him. Tell him. He's your husband. Anyway, I will make sure that I oversee everything later. Are you sure? Trust me, I will intercede. God will intercede. And I will, yes. I've got your back. But make sure you tell him. There's no time. Tell him. Talk to him. Okay, I'll tell him. Don't kill you. Hello, Tari. Were you able to get some money for the party? Don't worry, I got money now. Are you sure? Don't worry, all you need to do now is to just plan the party. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I'll see you soon. Alright. Wow. Shit. Oh, it's...
Yeah, I saw some car pictures on your Instagram page. Yes, how much is your camera? What do you mean I can't afford it? If I can't afford it, why would I be calling to ask about the price? That's how you underrate everyone. I don't like it. Yes, I'll be coming to your car loss right now to come and check it out. I'm, I'm possibly paid today. Yes, I'll be on my way. All right. Hello. Yeah, Calvin, I'm in school. I should not want to be to party very Alex is the one in charge of the party plan. Alex. I don't have the energy for it, seriously. You know, I have to concentrate on my studies now. My grades are really low. Okay, then I'll talk to you. I've given him money already. I gave him all the money to plan. No problem, I'll see you guys at home. Alright. Talk to you later. Hello, Tadi. Hello, Alex. I sent you a message. Yeah, I got your message. Did you check your phone? You know we need to plan this party. I don't understand you guys. I gave you enough money to plan my party. Now you are telling me the money is not enough. What do you mean? Yes, the money you sent me, I spent it on security and food. No, no, no. What do you mean? I don't understand you. You're telling me that money is not enough to plan the party? Yes. We need more money for DJ and drinks. Don't even play games with me, Alex. Don't. I told you from the onset that I don't want to plan a party. I'm not interested. You guys pushed me into this. And now you are telling me the money is not enough. What do you mean? Guy, I don't know how you want to do it. Just make sure you sort it out. You know we need to have a maximum security at the party. That is your problem. Sort this mess out. I need you to send more money, please. So I can organize the party. In fact, get off my phone. Get off. I'm um, having my 38th birthday on Saturday. Wow. Yeah, right to you. So it's your birthday? Yes, it's an exclusive party. I thought you were turning 25. Ah, big boy, don't come. <laughs> don't come along with your friends. It's an exclusive party. This is your invite box. I trust you to throw a lit party. You know. Oh. Daddy. Later, man. Later, man. Okay, yeah, bye. Mm.
think I don't need your business. Sure with After all, I've done please, for you. Please, 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 Is this the way to repay me? I will kill you today. a great favor by telling me the truth. I learned you missed the drinks the guests at your party drank, which led to some of their demise. <laughs> Stop crying. Yes, I mixed their drinks. Why did you kill them? What do I start to gain? What? What do I get by killing guests who came to felicitate me? I didn't kill them! Stop! Stop. <laughs> From this investigation, some of the drinks in the cups were poisoned. So now tell me who is in those cups of drinks? <laughs> I don't know! I don't <laughs> Then, who did? And they all died after driving it. You are telling me you didn't do shit. I did this. So, Calvin, what are you 
telling me I don't seem to get you. Alex. What about Alex? Alex is capable of poisoning your drinks. Why? I mean, why would you want to poison his friend? <laughs> So, is that the reason you think he will want to poison his friends? I mean, why? He promised he was going to stop sleeping with her, but he didn't. Alex is greedy. He felt that he is lucky and he has it all. So, he just wanted to punish him. I don't see that as a good reason why he want to kill or poison his friends. I think uh, the whole thing is becoming clear. I'll call you when it's necessary. Okay. okay. So, Katrina, you can have with your boyfriend Alice in order to punish Tadi by poisoning the drink at this party. Isn't it? Point of correction. Tadi is my boyfriend, not Alex. So don't accuse me wrongly of having an affair with Alex. Punish Tadi. Why? How? You were busy sleeping with Alex when you were dating Tadi. Oh, I don't know. No, you decided to take Tadi out of the picture so that you can continue sleeping with Alex. Isn't it? No, I can never cheat on Tadi. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Bravo. So let me tell you, if you do know me, I have enough evidences from your SMS charts, from your call log, and from your WhatsApp. Look, you better tell me what I want to hear. Otherwise, I will deal with you. I promise you. I'm sorry. I'm having an affair with Alex. But I did not come up with this idea. So who did? Alex did. He has an issue with Tade some time ago, so he said he's going, he's, he's going to deal with Tade mercilessly. I have no idea of it. Bravo. Now you're beginning to come up with a true story. When it's time, you tell me the way you feel. Okay? That is like a brother to me. What will I poison him for all reason? You call him your brother and you still have the guts to tell me that. A brother to you? A brother to you and you're sleeping around with his girlfriend and you still have the guts to call him your brother? Look, you better be careful and tell me what I want to hear. Roscoe, Roscoe threatened to kill him. He promised to mess that up. Maybe he's responsible for this. Roscoe. Okay. I don't know who is Rose Cole. Detective. Yes, madam. <laughs> I did not approve of this party. It's just that my son does not listen. Really? I trained him well. He doesn't deserve all this happening to him. Oh, madam, madam, you never can tell. But what I want to tell you is that we will unravel this case. And in as much as the investigation progresses, we'll put you in the know. So you just put your mind together and you rest assured that whoever is behind this evil deed will be brought to you. Thank you, Detective. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. I warned my son about keeping bad company. Oh. I warned him about keeping bad company. Look where it's led him. Don't worry, madam. Inasmuch oh, as your child is innocent, 
Oh, God. We'll be free. Please intervene on my son's behalf. Intervene on my behalf. Please. Detective, please do your best. Well, I'll do my very best. In as much as a child is innocent, you will be released. Please, let's take care. Hello, Detective. My name is Harry, and I'm Tadi's friend. Yeah. So, I was at Tadi's party, then I was on my way to the restroom, and something happened, and it caught my attention. Yes, I have it recorded on my phone. Uh, but then I got distracted because I got a call from my boss to report back to the office immediately. So I left. So I'm going to send you what I recorded now. Yes, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Ah, well, one of the guests at the party discovered that when he was doing random check on the video he recorded at the party. Now, Lizzie, tell me, how can you be so callous that you go to the party and poison the drink for people? Why? Lizzie, why? It is not my fault. Whose fault? Daddy's mother, Mrs. Falashadi Pama, caused it. My late sister Irene got pregnant for Daddy's father. Mrs. Falashadi Pama took her for an abortion due to complications. She died. <laughs> I was pained and I decided to take revenge. I skimmed my life into Tadi's life when I met him in school. It was the perfect time to take my own pound of flesh. Officer, I am so sorry. I don't want to go to prison. I regret my actions. I'm so sorry. Please help me. What about the lives of people you have wasted? I mean, the people you killed. Thank God for those who did not drink out of that drink. Probably you would have killed all of them. Now, now, listen, tell me. How can you be so callous? How can you be so unforgiving, so deadly, that you go to such events, such party, and poison people's drink? Why? Anyway, let me tell you, when you get to the courts, you will tell the judge all these your cock and bull stories. And if you get to them, you will face the consequences of your actions. <laughs> Hello. Ah, sister me. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you're happy now. You see, I told you. Share things with your husband. Don't keep secrets from him. Ah, so now that you've told him, you can see that everything is back to you. You see now? Even from the tone of your voice, I know that everything has been sorted. Thank you so much. Daddy has been released and the culprit has been arrested. See? I know justice will be served. Otumba was quite disappointed, but all is well now. I could not have scaled through without you. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Sister Ami. Me the advisor. <laughs> Please, I'm not a counselor. I'm just doing my bits. All right. But I'm happy. I'm happy that everything is okay now. Yes, that's good. Bye. Ah.
But when are you leaving for school? Tomorrow afternoon, ma'am. Tomorrow afternoon. But I thought you were going to spend a weekend with me. No. I think it's high time you transferred schools. I prefer you studying here in Abuja to Lagos. Mom, I love my school. Besides, the University of Lagos is very cool. I get to focus on my studies and avoid the Abuja distractions. Hmm. Okay, that's what you want. But I need you to stay focused on your studies, okay? Goodness sake, you need to graduate very soon. You have spent six years in the university and I don't like it. Mom, it's five, not six. Ah. What's the difference? A five, five years for a four-year course. Anyway, you can go with the private jet when you are leaving. Oh, thank you, mom. thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> thank you, mom. I love you more. Be good, okay? I will. I have to leave now. Thank you. Move out. the guest at the party discovered that when he was doing random check on the video he recorded at the party. Now Lizzie, tell me, how can you be so callous that you go to the party and poison the drink for people? Why? Is it why? It is not my fault. Whose fault? Daddy's mother, Mrs. Falashadi Palmer, caused it. My late sister Irene got pregnant for Daddy's father. Mrs. Falashadi Palmer took her for an abortion due to complications. She died. <laughs> I was pained and I decided to take revenge. I skimmed my life into Tadi's life when I met him in school. It was the perfect time to take my own pound of flesh. Officer, I am so sorry. I don't want to go to prison. I regret my actions. I'm so sorry. Please help me. What about the lives of people you have wasted? I mean, the people you killed. 
Thank God for those who did not drink out of that drink. Probably you will have killed one of them. Now, now, listen, tell me. How can you be so callous? How can you be so unforgiving, so deadly, that you go to such events, such party, and poison people's drink? Why? Anyway, let me tell you. When you get to the courts, you will tell the judge all these your cock and bull stories. And if you get to them, you will face the consequences of your actions. <laughs>